This is um, Barrett's request V2022-01. I would like to put um, that request as well as COA2022-04. Talk about them at the same time because they're in the same property. Okay. The current applicant is Hugama Coffee Company. People that would probably remember this would be the old dry cleaners that's on Bay Tree Road um, next to CBC Bank, Commercial Bank. Um, you get a reference of the building. Uh, it's owned by Mr. Michael Scott. It's 1301 Bay Tree Road. This building is also in our community commercial downtown district. He is requesting a variance um, and a certificate of appropriateness to add a multiple message board sign on his property. Um, he, there's currently, if you look at your back side of your top packet, he has one sign and then he has a second sign, a smaller one, which is a changeable copy sign, a manual changeable copy sign. It's very back photo. It looks like this one. Um, it's on point one three acres. Uh, the main motivation behind this request is, is to change existing existing changeable copy sign to multiple multiple message signs to promote their business. Um, however, <coughs> Our ordinance does not allow for a multiple message sign to be located within 1,250 feet of any pre-existing multiple message sign within the city limits or within 1,000 feet of any pre-existing multiple message sign located outside of the city limits. <clears throat> the proposed multiple, sign, multiple message sign will be located from another multiple message sign, 436 feet within the city of Remington, Second sign within the city of Remington is 1,211 feet. Outside the city limits of Remington, there's a uh, multiple metric sign at 512 feet and at 886 feet. Staff would like to, for the commission to note that in 2016, the city council did approve for a single colored multiple metric sign to be located by Lost Supply, which is in Remington. That particular sign is 1,211 feet from the sign that's um, being requested uh, today. Um, overall, based on solely on the ordinance, staff is not supportive of this request for a V2022-01 or the certificate of appropriateness 2022-04 at 1301 Bay Tree Road. Um, Jessica? Yes, ma'am. I think your ordinance is way out of date. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> um, I mean, this is 2022, so um, I think you guys might want to take a look at your ordinance. Um, you did mention that in 2017, I lost a pawn. 2016. 2016, yes, okay. So there is precedent. Yes, ma'am. And I was not able to give that information last week when we met. Um, I went back and did some more research on that so I can bring that information to the commission. Commissioner Willis, did yeah. you have a question? Um, you mentioned about one sign being outside the city of Remington. What does that have to do with Remington? Because we're encompassed by the city of Valdosta whenever um, we did our signs on. I'm sorry. Hey, it could be a corner call. <laughs> <laughs> Austin better be ready. <laughs> um, but but now we're just curious about that because we're, we're this is a zoning for Remerton, so I'm, I'm just wondering how that even has, comes into play. You gonna talk about signs? <laughs> um, because of our close um, proximity to Valdosta, I believe Valdosta's ordinance even says on signs outside the city of Valdosta is 1,000 feet from another multiple message or variable message sign, no, not variable, but billboards, correct? Well, you know, it, and I'm sure the Remington Ordinance is probably worded the same way. It's a distance facing from a sign of a given type. It doesn't mm -hmm. say a sign of a given type in Remington <coughs> or in Valdosta. What's the purpose of that? I mean, what's the yeah. Well, the well, idea is that you're a certain distance from another feature trying to maintain separation from the city <coughs> is kind of relevant so the limits can sometimes change because we want to bring to Valdosta. So that's that's common practice. Absolutely. And for Remerton, I mean the city is 125 acres, so you don't have to go too far to get out of the city limits in most directions. And how close is the next multiple message sign? 
Uh, the closest one is 436 feet, which is actually a uh, billboard. Okay. A changeable billboard? Yes, ma'am. Okay. The, the one that's 1,211 feet away with, is the pawn shop. The one that's 512 feet is outside the city of Al or outside the city limits. That is the hearing aid place. Okay. Theirs is a single um, single color sign. And the 886 foot um, distance is the Macadoos. Macadoos. I don't know. It just seems like I said it's 2022. It just seems you know. We would be taking advantage of technology as much as possible. Yes, ma'am. And once, um, when, when this was brought to staff, that's something that staff has talked um, with other staff members about. It's about looking at um, doing some changes to our ordinance to bring it up to date. Okay. Any other questions? All right, let's open it up to the public. Is there anyone here tonight who would like to speak on behalf of this request? wishing to speak on behalf of this request. Is there anyone here tonight wishing to speak against this request? No? All right. Staff, any other discussion? All right. If not, I'll entertain a motion. Madam Chair, regarding V2022-01, a variance request to the City of Remington, uh, in spite of staff not being supportive of this issue, I move that we recommend approval to the City Council of Remington. Second. All right. We have a motion to approve and second it. Any discussion? All right. All those in favor of the motion to approve, please raise your right hand. All those against, and that motion carries.